What's up y'all, it's your boy Shaz Nera. So many has been wondering, what is the difference between the PS4 version and the PS5 version of Spider-Man Miles Morales? The, the PlayStation 5, one, we were just able to take full advantage of all the features in the PlayStation 5. And um, one of those things was graphics fidelity. So you're going to see ray trace reflections everywhere in the game on the PlayStation 5. Um, that is not something we're going to feature on the 4. Um, our, the haptic controller is going to have a, a next level of immersion that there will be a rumble on the 4, but the haptics really allow bioelectricity travel from one side of the controller to the other. Um, it, it makes the web swings feel that much more visceral when there's resistance on the trigger as you feel the connection of a web and, and, and the tension as you, as you swing through. So we have those wonderful features. Um, the SSD obviously allows us to have, if you, if you die or if you're wanting to fast travel, near instant load. So just fade down, fade up. You're going to keep um, playing, playing the game. So we have no loading screens in the PS4 we would have loading screens on those fast travels or, or deaths. Um, so those are fundamentally uh, some of the, the differences between the two systems. I would say as a gameplay experience, they should feel in parity. Like it's not going to make one game doesn't feel, you know, much different than the other. But those, those enhancements that we're talking about really add up to make it feel like this is the definitive Spider-Man experience on PlayStation 5. With all that being said, guys, let me know what y'all think about in the comments down below. You know, which version are you getting? Or you have no choice but to get the one or the other based on your circumstance on the PS5 pre-orders. These differences are pretty significant to me for next gen. I want to experience this game firsthand in the best version possible. Whether it's minute or significant, we, w we won't really know until we actually play it ourselves. But based on what I've heard so far and the excitement uh, behind the controller, I'm probably going to opt out to being a little bit patient. But if I feel like I won't be getting a PS5 for the next month, right, like, you know, post the launch day, it will take another month or two to get a PS5, then I'll probably have to end up picking up the PS4 version because I do want to do some let's play on this channel and give you guys a review on the game. So let me know what y'all think on the comments down below and as for always thank y'all so much for watching and if you guys enjoyed this video hit that thumbs up and if you haven't already definitely subscribe hit the notification bell and see you guys on my next one. Salute.